when I first started, I was really drawing to get noticed by all these, all these rappers, like the people that I listened to as well. I just started off with rap music because it's something that I, I have an interest in as well, right? Yeah. So one time, Charlie B, I, I seen his page. I was like, okay, he's from Toronto. He, 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 he's a good person. Yeah. So I followed him. I gave him a message to see how it would go. I said, hey, Charlie B, I'm a, I'm a 14 year old from Toronto. Yeah. Um, I'm a graphic designer. I wanted to make some artwork for him. He said, okay, make me some artwork. So we did it. I did it. I would never forget this day. He's like, he's like, give me a call. So I gave him, he's like, he's like, yo, I love the artwork. Your artwork's amazing. He's like, how'd you feel if I bring you to the studio to meet with Roy Woods? I was like, no way. And taken, I'm only 14. Yeah. So I, I, I kind of like didn't know what to do, right? Yeah, so, you, you find out. So as soon as I did that, I'm like, mom. <laughs> right? I'm like, mom, yeah. Charlie B wants to bring me to the studio at Roy Woods. And my mom's like, my mom's like, I'm, you're underage. She's like, I was like, yeah, I know. Like, I'm only 14, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. That's not something the regular 14-year-old normally does. For sure. So my mom came with me. I brought mm -hmm. my mom with me mm -hmm. that day. And the rest is history. Dope, dope. So you know when you when you when you went to the studio with moms and you see Charlie B, you see Roy Woods in, in in one setting. And how was that initial conversation? Was it awkward? Was it cool? Were they showing you love? Like describe that moment. So, the, when I was in that studio session, it opened up to my eyes to see what I really want. I I loved hearing the music. I loved getting motivation from those guys. I I spoke with Roy personally. I asked him. What did he do when he was going through a rough time mm -hmm. to, to make it up? Because mm -hmm. just like everyone, I'm, I'm just a human as well. I go through things as well. For sure. So I asked him, I'm like, what did you do? Like, how did you overcome your struggles to get where you are today? Yeah. And he kind of told me. Same, same with Charlie B. Char those guys kind of guided me. Mm -hmm. Especially, I got to give credit to Charlie B as well. Char I wouldn't be where I am as well without... Charlie B. Charlie B kind of opened the door for me. Yeah. To to all these opportunities. Exactly, to all these opportunities. That's dope. Shout, shout out to uh, DJ Charlie B. Um, what's that one advice he gave to you that you kind of hold on to? One advice he gave? Yeah. He, he taught me, he told me communication is key, networking as well. He told me communicating is important because it always depends on, like, Sometimes you can be late with clients or you can be on time with it. So you just always have to communicate with them, try to make sure you do well. And he said also, one thing that actually stuck with me, he said, always try to figure out what's the next trend. Mm -hmm. So try to figure out, okay, I'm, he told me I was the future. I'm, I know what kids like. So if I can do that mm -hmm. and try to figure out what the new set of kids will like, yeah. I think I could be able to go far in this industry.